Are you running Ubuntu and your screens just are not staying where you put them? The left one on the left and the right one on the right? Well, I'll show you how to fix that now. What is up, YouTube? It's Ubu the Tech Guru coming straight at you. How is everybody doing today? I'm doing fan tiddlyastic, and today I'm bringing you a new series of such, and it's going to include general tips uh, using Ubuntu or using Xubuntu, which is the distribution that I use. And they're just going to be little tidbits of information that I've uh, found out through my you know vast knowledge of Linux over the last ten years. Or, you know, through my knowledge of using Google and reading various forums after hours upon hours of reading and testing and trying something out and finally coming up with a solution. So as you can see, the screen right now is gigantic. It's 3600 wide by 1080 tall. And um, it's because I run a dual monitor setup and I was having a problem where every time I would reboot my computer or come from a come out from a, a log out and log back in. The screens would flip. I would have my main screen that you see now on the right would be it would be there. It would be correct in the correct monitor, but in order to get to the screen on the left, see how the mouse moved over there, I would actually have to move my mouse to the right to go over to my second monitor. And it was really irritating me, and I finally found a solution. So let's actually make the video uh, smaller again and just work on one desktop so that you can see what I'm doing here. All right, so now that we're at a little more manageable uh, size for, the, for what I'm recording, I'm just recording now my main monitor, my 1920 by 1080 Asus. And um, what I'm going to do is show you how I solved the problem of where the screens would come in uh, in the incorrect location. So... Um, Years ago, or when Ubuntu first started and you started using the NVIDIA driver, you could run uh, the command um, GK sudo NVIDIA settings and be able to administer everything related to the X server um, through through this you know little GUI here, this little graphical user interface. It is a nice little GUI, a nice little application. It can show you your temperature of your graphics card. Mine's right now 29 degrees Celsius. Shows you fan speed. Um, shows you the power miser options, if it's overclocking itself or not, or what clock speed it's running at, so on and so forth. But the X server display configuration is right here. And as you can see, right now it's set so that the Sync Master by Samsung is on the left and the ASUS is on the right. And that's the way that I always wanted. And that's the way that I had, uh, right now, I don't know why the Samsung is checked as the primary display. This is the primary display. But this is the way that I have it. And I've saved, I've saved it to the X configuration file, which you can either merge it with the existing file or overwrite the existing file. You know, it'll save it to Etsy X11 XORG.conf. You know, and I've done that. I've saved it, and no matter what ha no matter what I did, every time I rebooted, in order to get to the screen on the left, I would have to move my mouse cursor to the right. Um, you know, and every time I'd reopen NVIDIA X server settings, this sync master over here would be on the right side of this ASUS monitor here. So I did some digging, and I found out that you can set up a a rander script to run after your computer launches. So it's as simple as first we need to install a rander. So that's sudo apt get install a rander. And uh, mine's not going to install it's because it's already the newest version. I already have it installed. But a rander is a r a n d r. And then uh, what we want to do is well, let's launch the a rander command. So it launches and it shows me my current screen layout. As you can see here, it uh, it calls my Samsung SyncMaster the DVI-I-0, 
and it calls my Asus, the 1920 by 1080, the one that I want as the main one on the right, it calls that DVI-D-0. So it's currently set up the way that I want right now. So I would save as this layout. So um, it defaults to creating a subfolder or a hidden folder within your home directory called dot screen layout. And then you can give it any name that you want. I called mine screen underscore layout. And it adds the dot sh on there for you. So then you just hit open. It'll save that file. And now let's take a look at what that file entails. We'll just open up another tab here of the terminal and hit uh, mouse pad home ubu dot screen layout screen layout dot sh. So here is the actual, it creates a bash script that runs the xrander command, which is for setting up your screens and whatnot. It's xrander is very capable uh, for organizing your x server screens and whatnot and it actually created the the line for me already so i don't have to do any of the heavy lifting and figure out all the outputs and the modes that they're supposed to run in and the position that they're supposed to be at see it did all that for me it created this whole long command so now that that script is where it is the last thing we have to do is get that script to run after your computer is completely booted up. And that part's easy. <laughs> in Xubuntu, and I'm sure there's something similar in Ubuntu, all you would do is go to uh, Settings Manager, scroll down to Session and Startup, and then under Application Auto Start, you're going to add a new one. So you hit Add, and then you type in the name. You know, you could type in Screen Layout Fix. You know, whatever you want put in the description you don't even have to fill that out you could just say fixes screen layout you know and then the command you're going to just hit the open dialog and navigate to where it is now if you don't see your hidden folders by default you hit control H then it'll show the hidden files and folders under ubu so it's under dot screen layout and there it is so then I just said okay and I would hit OK again. I'm going to hit Cancel because I already have it down here. You'll be able to see. Uh, <laughs> I have it in here somewhere. Fix screen layout right there. So I already have the command auto ran after I log in. Boom, you're done. That's it, guys. And in order, in a good way to check to see whether your script is going to work or not is you can simply run after you boot into your computer you can simply run your 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 screen layout script by itself so after you boot in just simply open a terminal and just uh you know type in the path to the screen layout script and hit enter and it'll automatically uh, i'm not going to do it because i don't know what it would do to my recording but it'll run this it'll run the xrander command and flip your screens around and fix them the way that you want so that's it Hopefully you guys, uh, you know, enjoyed this quick little tip for uh, flipping your screens around and getting them the way that you want them uh, within Ubuntu. And hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel. I'll have uh, plenty more little tips like this. Otherwise, if you're interested in gaming, I also uh, do a lot of gaming. I'm a gaming channel. Uh, I'm very active with the community. You know, I enjoy interacting with you guys. And um, that's about all I got for today. So until next time. I'll smell you when I smell you. Ubu out.